Welcome to our last tutorial in discussing Bridge. After this tutorial, we're going to move on to Photoshop. And remember from our previous lesson, we talked about the we talked and created the Clouds Coffee Book. Now we're going to use this in the Output Workspace. If you don't see it, you can always uh, move this out to see it. Go ahead and click on the Output. Click on Web Gallery. We'll talk about PDF in a second. And go ahead and choose your photos. Remember, there, here are all those photos in that um, Smart Collection. Okay, but we're not going to select all 47 because that would take forever to display. So we're just going to choose a few. I'm going to select from here to here. I'm going to press Shift click to select all the photos in between. I'm going to try Slideshow, um, Dark Room, and then we're going to click Refresh Preview because anytime you make any changes, you need to click this button in order to see it because it will update it. And I'm going to click Play. Nice. And one more time. Nice. And you can see how you can customize it by putting your contact name and all this other good information. Now let's change the template to, uh, let's try Airtight Auto Viewer. Okay. Let's change the background this time to something crazy. Maybe a little bit lighter green. No, a little bit darker purple. Okay, and we'll use the same border. Um, your photo borders are going to be 10 pixels. There's going to be some padding. There's going to be some slide duration. That's nice. Click Refresh Preview and see how this will look. <laughs> nah, not too bad. Not too bad. Click Play. Okay, that's nice. And you can click the arrow to the side here. Nice. Okay. And then you have your standard, your film strip, and you have your other ones to show. One of the most probably popular ones is this one. Okay, here you can choose three columns. Maybe we'll choose five columns. Photo borders, the padding, the distance. Let me see something else I can change. Um, refresh preview. And as you can, that looks pretty nice. I'm missing one there, so I'm, oops. Make sure I would have selected the, let's preview this in a browser instead. And let me move this up a little. And here you can select the photo to look at it in better detail. Of course, these photos are not are not fixed from camera raw or anything. So just that they're seeing as is. You can use your um, up or down arrows to move, which is nice. Nice. Okay, so let me close this. And the other option you have is PDF. So we're going to go ahead and click on PDF. I'm not going to choose the yellow background. I'm going to try maybe magenta again. Oof. I'm going to try to make it a little bit darker. It's a little bit over the top, add custom colors, click OK. You can choose an open password and a permissions password with your PDF. I'm going to choose US Paper because this is going to be our photo book, or our coffee book, excuse me. My pictures are going to be 300 ppi. Okay, so let's go ahead and click Refresh Preview. We would say that magenta is not the color to use. <laughs> okay, and then Refresh Preview. Okay. And then, of course, we would want to slide these pictures over a little bit more because we want to make sure our, our binding part is over here. And then we have a nice coffee book. I wish I could, let me see if I can add this just to show you real quick. I'm going to pause it. Okay, so what I've done with, don't record that. Okay, so what I've done with the PDF is, I'm going to show you what I've done, some simple quick things here. I'm going to scroll up. I've chose the U.S. paper letter size, 300 quality. 300 ppi, the quality is 70. The background, I chose a custom background color. Um, as I further go down, I put one column, one column, three rows, and I adjusted the top and bottom. Okay, what was the other thing I did? Where is it? Oh yes, I added a watermark on the foreground, I place on each image and I inserted the text my name. You can use a different font. I chose 64, I chose white, and I could even choose the location of where I, sh I should put it. I said in the middle, but make it a, a negative vertical offset of negative 32%, which pushed it more down this way. Okay, and then you just click save, and then you would see it. 
So after I'm happy with this, and this is pretty cheesy, but I mean you get the point. You can spend more time and customize this a lot better. And remember the reason it's pushed over to the right more because we need some binding going on for our photo book. I'm going to choose this view PDF after save. And I'm going to click save. And I'm just going to choose a random location. I'll choose um, desktop. And I'll choose, and I'll say example clouds PDF. I'm going to choose save. And this should generate the PDF for me and I should be able to see it. And as you can see here in our condensed version here, we have our PDF. You have three images here, three images here, and then you can just go down and see the different ones as we page down. 